A history-making exercise took place at the Defense Force Base in Coral Harbor today. For the first time in the 32-year history of the force, reserves are being added. Carla Palmer reports on the special group committed to guard and protect. The history-making recruits of the new Royal Bahamas Defense Force Reserve entry comprise 10 males and 5 females, while those reservists returning after retirement number 8 men and 2 women for a total of 25. National Security Minister, the Honorable Dr. Barnett Nottage, commended the group for their profound sense of duty and commitment to service. You must contend with transnational criminals, including illicit drug and arms traffickers. You are to be ready when called upon to serve at sea, ashore or aloft, to defend, patrol, and protect the sovereignty and the territorial integrity of our country. You have to detect and deter and impede the flow of illegal immigrants through our borders. You have to intervene and arrest those who would poach in our waters. You have to assist with search and rescue operations. You have to support our local and regional law enforcement partners. And you are to rise to the occasion when disasters or national emergencies occur. You are not on holiday. Great demands will be made of you. And when they tell you that you got to go to sea, you can't be talking about what happened at home and how you can't leave this and you can't leave that, you got to go. And when there's a hurricane and everybody's boarding up, you got to go board up for other people. So I want those of you who are not Defense Force officers or reserves to appreciate the demanding role that these persons must play. The passing out ceremony comes after seven weeks of intense training. Deputy Manager at the Central Bank of the Bahamas, Luther Smith, and Stephanie Darville, a casino coupier, were named best male and female reservists. This is something that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to, to, to serve my country. Um, you know, for some reason early on, um, I didn't get the opportunity to, to, to be a part of the force. And um, because of age requirements, age restrictions, I went off to college. And by the time I came back, it was a bit late for that. Um, but now when they decided to bring the reserves on stream, I saw it as a perfect opportunity um, to, to get where I really wanted to be. I encourage, you know, a lot of young women my age to come and, and try it out because this is something that I had always wanted to do. But at an early age, my life took a different turn, and I saw the opportunity, and I took it. Also during that ceremony, Marine Reservist Ronaldo Miller received the Training Officer's Award, as well as the Most Physical Award. Each reservist was encouraged to wear their uniform with dignity and pride, remembering that as they do so, they represent themselves as individuals, the government of the Bahamas, and by extension, the Bahamian people. Carla Palmer, ZNS News.